Hi everybody, this is Patrick from Dougie Dashboard. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to use custom appointment types to mark appointments as unconfirmed. So let's scroll down the calendar here. And you can see right now our calendar looks pretty basic. We have single day appointments in gray. We have multi-day appointments following the orange on or green on arrival, yellow when they are overnight, and then red when they go home. Now let's imagine we have a situation where we want to mark an appointment as unconfirmed. We want it on our calendar, but maybe they haven't paid us yet, or maybe they haven't confirmed yet, but we just want to kind of get it on the calendar. What we're going to do is make a custom appointment type so it shows up differently on the calendar. So up here, we can click custom color background, and that's going to take us to the appoint custom appointment types page. Here, we're going to make an appointment type called unconfirmed. We could give it icons if we wanted to. We're not going to, though. We're just going to give it this pinkish color right here so it catches our eye. Now, if we scroll down, you'll see unconfirmed has this pink background. So now let's imagine we get a call from Philip, and he wants to drop off his dog Antonio for the weekend from the 20th to the 23rd. So Philip calls us and we put in Antonio in here from 7 a.m. on the 20th until the 23rd at 4 p.m. He says, I can't confirm yet that I'm going to be there, but I just want to get it on the calendar. I'll let you know in a day or two. We're going to go down here to appointment type and hit unconfirmed. Select that and schedule it. Now on the calendar, instead of seeing it in the green, yellow, and red color scheme, we're going to see it in this bright pink color, and we're going to know, oh, that appointment hasn't been confirmed yet. And so maybe in a day or two, if it's still pink, we give Antonio a call, and we say, hey, Antonio, um, we give Philip Jones a call and say, hey, just trying to get in touch with you to see if uh, Antonio is going to be coming. He goes, yep, I am uh, going to confirm right now. Perfect. Click on the appointment. Come here. Edit it. We're going to move it to, let's call it boarding, but we could use any of our appointment types. Go to boarding right there, update this appointment, and now you can see the appointment goes from pink to following the regular scheme of green, yellow, and red. So that's how you use the custom appointment types to do things uh, like unconfirmed or confirmed. Just go here, click on the custom color background or this right here, current custom color appointments. Create yourself a custom appointment type here with a custom color. And then when you create the appointment, you can just select that appointment type. So let's do it one more time. On the 25th, we'll use Philip again. We'll say uh, Daisy. Daisy is going to be um, just for a day of daycare, but she's unconfirmed. So we don't know yet if she's going to come or not. We schedule that appointment. Look at our calendar here and we say, okay, we get that pink one right there. We're not sure if Daisy's coming in or not. Once Daisy does confirm, click here edit it, move it over to daycare, update this appointment, and then in a second or two, there it goes. Daisy goes from pink unconfirmed to gray normal. That is how you use custom appointment types. If you have any questions, info at doggydashboard.com. Otherwise, have a great day.